Johnny, get your gun, get your gun, get your gun. Take it on the run, on the run, on the run. Hear them calling you. Welcome back to Frontline Rejects. Before we get started today, we'd appreciate it if you could help us out by hitting that like and subscribe button and by dropping a comment in the comment section below. And if you'd like to reach out to us directly, send us an email at frontlinerejects at gmail.com. The bullet we're testing today is Nosler's 120 grain E-tip, which we've got loaded up in 6.5 Creedmoor to just around 2,900 feet per second. This is, of course, a monolithic or all-copper projectile, and it's the fifth and last time that we'll be featuring it here on the channel. We've had some interesting results with it in the past, and if you'd like to check out those videos, you can either find them in our expansion playlist or there will be links in this video's description. Anyway, we're excited to see how this bullet's going to perform in its last test ever here on the channel, so let's get started. Mapuche ancestry. <laughs> Fucking fire one ready. Oh, safety. Safety. <laughs> safety. Yeah. yeah. Safety this here. This here is my safety. Perfect. Nice. Yeah, we really should, man. Get a Webley. <laughs> You gonna dual wheel the Webley and your Luger? <laughs> are there Webleys in the U.S.? There are, right? Oh yeah. Expensive. I mean, apparently the uh, the cylinder lockup issues, like they have issues with some of them, like be a pain in the ass to get them fixed too. I don't know a lot about them though. Didn't a lot of people rechamber them for 45? As a center punch. All right, buddy. Well, you're running a 6.5 Creedmoor in a in a premium marksman's rifle there. Oh, absolutely. So you got absolutely no excuse to miss. Uh, well, you know, I, I I think I skipped lunch today. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, um, is your tummy hungry? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, my my, my tummy my tummy has a rumbly. Is you making the rumbly? Yeah, I'm making the rumbly. Well, I guess you weren't that hungry. Nope, not hungry enough. So at all ranges fired, we got pretty good results from Nosler's E-tip in this chambering. I think the best performance we've seen from this bullet was when we ran it through our 270 Wisdom, and the worst was probably out of 6mm arc. Taking a cursory glance at the overall images though, it appears to have performed just fine in 6.5 Creedmoor. Estimated impact velocities never dropped below 2,000 feet per second, which definitely helped, and these velocity estimates were provided using JDM Ballistics software. At the 100, we have textbook expansion, the bullet peeled back on all four sides down to the relief groove. 200 is similar, great expansion with even peeling, but like we'll see at the other ranges, expansion ends slightly higher up the shank than the previous range. This trend is carried forward at the 300, but we still have a solid result with nothing to complain about there. 400 is when the pedals start to remain a little further inboard. There's objectively less expansion as velocity drops to around 2240. And at 500, staying just a hair above 2,000 feet per second, we have our final result with some peeling and what we'd consider acceptable expansion. Getting into the graphs, out to 300 
300 yards being exceeded two times original size. This begins to drop off at 4 and continues at the 5 as the projectile loses steam. Expansion at 500 is still a respectable 1.7 times original size, and average expansion comes out to 2.02, which is pretty good for a monolithic bullet. Weight retention was for the most part very consistent. At the 100 we had lost some weight as a pedal was torn off, but at all four other ranges weight retention was within a grain, giving us average weight of 97.3%, which is pretty standard for the Nosler E-tip. There isn't too much more to say about the Nosler E-tip than has already been said in our previous videos on this bullet, which I would encourage everyone to check out. Links to these can be found in the video description or by scrolling our expansion playlist. In regards to using it in this chambering though, I am very pleased with this performance. 120s out of a 6.5 Creedmoor have very little felt recoil, and a hand loader can get pretty damn good velocity with a bit of tinkering. As far as practical uses for this bullet in this cartridge, I would happily use this bullet for shoulder shots on deer and elk, and in a pinch I would be comfortable using it on black bear. What's impressive as well is the average expansion was 2.02, which is the exact same average expansion that we got when running the 130 grain E-tip through our 270 win short mag, which is interesting because the WSM had roughly a 300 foot per second advantage over the Creedmoor, which it was still maintaining at 500 yards. Usually, monolithic bullets are entirely velocity dependent, so we would expect to see a higher average expansion from the faster cartridge, but who knows. Perhaps both cartridges' velocities fell right into the optimal expansion window, or maybe there's some other correlation between diameter and BC that affects expansion. If there is though, that's testing for another day. Now that we've wrapped up our fifth and final video on the E-tip, keep your eyes peeled for our first five cartridge review which will compile information from all our videos on this bullet to develop a holistic view of its quality, and hopefully provide some real world answers and recommendations as to how you can practically employ it. To see that content and more, make sure you're subscribed, and if you got something out of today's content, consider helping us out with a like and a comment in the section below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.